have to put your life in danger for somebody you've never met in your entire life. You have to be willing to put others ahead of yourself. That's a quantum leap for some people, but we have it in spades here. Love the idea of serving people, helping people, doing something that not everybody can do. I'm a firefighter on truck one. Um, that's what I've been doing for the past seven years. We call it riding the tailboard, but that's what that's what my job is. I'm a firefighter. Just I'm the go-to guy. I get the job done, I guess. My biggest influence to become a firefighter was probably my friends, just uh, friends that I knew that were on the job. I fell in love with just the camaraderie. Oh, darn it. Those engine guys, they never put their helmets on. Come on, come on. Jeez, we got skin showing. We don't have a tight helmet. You're a train wreck. Come on, rookie. Oh, <laughs> they, they're living together, basically. You know, it's a big reality show, and it's like no other job in the world where. You know, they you got chores to do. You've got you've got work to do, and then and then at the drop of a hat, you might be be out being asked to save someone's life. Everybody here wants to be good at their job. That's just the nature of downtown. Everybody wants to be the best. They train hard. They work hard, and so naturally, you're surrounded by those people who all want the same thing. And when you can gel in a way where your personalities mix and you know not the exact same way but just like an interesting odd kind of mix it's it's just so fun like you come to work and work isn't work most of the time for me uh, everybody has their days but work isn't work for me The job is just dangerous in itself. If you look inside any fire helmet, it says firefighting is an inherently dangerous job. As much as you want to take the danger out of firefighting, you just can't. It, it won't happen. There will always be fires. There will always be people needing to go to fires. Every fire you go to, small or large. Um, there's so many unseen factors you don't know. You don't know what's, how the fire was started. You know, are, are there traps set by an arsonist in there? What's the building construction like? All these things play in and firefighters are killed you know, every year by things they figured were you know, either easy fires or stuff they completely didn't expect. The biggest thing you have to realize is you can't save everybody. And um, once, you, once you realize that, and you try your hardest to do that, then you, could, you can go to sleep at night. You know, our job is very, very stressful at times. Um, we show up on the, a lot of the worst days of somebody's, somebody's life. And to see a group of people collectively work together and accomplish a task that could be something very simple but it all, or something very complex. And to see people work together that share the common interest and a common goal, um, it's almost like, like seeing a band come together or a, a football team out there playing. I always say uh, it's not where you work. I mean, Station One's great. It's awesome. I love it. It's just made me into the firefighter I am. But uh, it's really the people you work with. 